It's now almost certain that 2016 will be the warmest year ever recorded. And nowhere is warming more than the Arctic. Temperatures here are rising twice as fast as anywhere else on the planet. These glaciers are in western Svalbard in the high Arctic. They used to extend much further. They've retreated about a kilometre in a decade. Kongsfjorden, on which we're sailing, used to freeze over a metre thick in winter. Now it hasn't frozen for years. The retreat of ice has been accelerating, driven by a vicious circle of melting playing out across the Arctic. As ice melts, less of the sun's heat is reflected from the pole. The Arctic Ocean absorbs more heat and the cycle continues. This winter saw the lowest extent of sea ice in the Arctic ever recorded. This new reconstruction by Ed Hawkins at the University of Reading pulls together data going back 166 years. Take a look at what's been happening to global temperatures. The first records are from the logs of British sailing ships. Over time, weather stations fill in the gaps. Look at the Pacific Ocean. You can see warming from El Nino events. Earth warmed in the 1930s, causing the Dust Bowl and Arctic melting. But such natural cycles can't mask the trend. The world is now a degree warmer than pre-industrial times. Look at the Arctic, for most of it, it's two degrees. The receding sea ice doesn't just lead to more warming. Oil and gas reserves are now accessible. A whole new ocean is now available to exploit. Some estimate 25% of the world's untapped oil and gas could be under the Arctic ice. This Norwegian vessel is carrying out surveys to see if fishing here can be sustainable. Environmental groups are calling for the Arctic's natural resources to be protected from exploitation before it's too late. This year, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere averaged higher than 400 parts per million for the first time in three to five million years. In this NASA model, CO2 in red is seen spewing out of industrial zones in North America, Europe and Asia during winter. In summer, about half of it is absorbed by oceans and plants, but what's left over is warming the planet. The science is clear. Urgent action is needed to keep global warming below two degrees. Without it, we'll see potentially dangerous climate change. And just a few decades from now, an Arctic that's entirely ice-free in summer.